This is a 10 mark question from D1 in January 2003 or 2004, one or the other, and it's question 5. Um, I've, writ I've taken off the actual questions from this, but basically it refers to going through this process, filling in the table in the answer book, which would have columns for A, B and C. So I'll write those here, and we're told to go through the process with the value of A being 90. So start input A, A is 90. We're told that in the question. Now, let B equal the first number in list P, that's 2, so B is 2. Let C equal A divided by B, 90 divided by 2 is 45. Now as I go through this I'm going to get a feel for what's happening. Is C an integer? The answer is yes, it's 45. Output B, this is the output from the program, 2. Is A equal to B? The answer is no. Let A equal C. So 90 is not equal to 2, so let A now be 45. So basically A has become 90 divided by the first prime number, 45. Uh, let B be the first number in list P, still 2. Let C equal A divided by B. A divided by B is 22 and a half. Is C an integer? The answer is no. Let increase B to the next integer. So now B is 3. Let C equal A divided by B. 15. Is C an integer? Yes. Output B. So the output is there. Is A equal to B? The answer is no. Let A equal C. A is now 15. Let B equal the first number in list P. Let C equal A divided by B. Is C an integer? No. Increase B to the next integer. So we're seeing if 2 divides it. If it doesn't, then we go on to 3. Let C equal A divided by B. Is C an integer? Yes. Output B. Value of B currently is 3 again. Is A equal to B? The answer is no. So let A equal C. Let B equal the first number in list P. Let C equal A divided by B. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Is C an integer? No. Increase B. Let C equal A divided by B, or 5 divided by 3. Is C an integer? The answer is no. Increase B to the next number in the list. Let C equal A divided by B. Is C an integer? Yes. Output B. Is A equal to B? The answer is yes. End. So we're going to do with 2, 3, 3, 5. Now what the examiner will be looking for is every number in this table. If you're going through that, there's a little bit of confusion as to why we go back to the first number in list P. Uh, if you're understanding what it does, uh, there's probably no need to do that. Um, anyway, uh, uh, the output list is 2335. Now the significance of this is, as we're going through this, this, this number, what we're doing is starting with 90 and dividing it by prime numbers. The first prime number that we can divide it by is 2, and that leaves 45. Then we started with 45, and we saw if we could divide that by 2, we couldn't, so we divided it by 3. And as we were going, it's a bit like one of these tree things that you would have done lower down the school. When we get to 15, we see if 2 divides it, it doesn't. We see if 3 divides it, it does. We ended up with 3 times 5. 3 is a prime number. Then we start. Then we looked at five. We see if we could divide it by two. We couldn't divide it by three. We couldn't divide it by five. Yes, we can. And once we end up with a and b being the same, we've essentially got c equal to one, and therefore we end. So basically, it produces the prime factorization. Two times three times three times five makes our number ninety. Write down the value of c for any initial value of a. Well, the value of c will always be one 
because we'll keep going until A and B are the same. Uh, if they're not, then A. If A and B are the same, then A divided by B will be one from this box here. So the only way we can ever exit this box with a yes is if C is one. And that's all they're looking for for 10 marks.